Hello everybody, this is Super Aiden Yu, and today we're going to play some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the- No, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And today we are going to go towards the next dungeon available to us. Um, I have a clue of where we have to go, but not exactly where. On my way. Yep. So there was a little patch of grass over here, which we had to slash to uncover a um a hidden area and there's a little heart piece right there which we cannot yet access but we can access these stairs actually let's go over here Uh, um, on a such a nice day, we need a song from Marin. Okay. Hi. You're in a desert. There's a way to go here, go there to the south, but you not might not be able to get through there if that lazy walrus is in the way. Oh. Um. What is that, um, masterpiece? Oh. Yeah, I'm... Shaw Donovich. What? The mermaid statue by the bay is my masterpiece. To tell you the truth, that the work is not complete. The art is difficult for you to grasp, is it not? I guess so. Go away! Okay. Hey, did you know that Animal Village and May Village are sister cities? Yes, even though they aren't large enough to be called cities. Anyway, I heard from a very good source that they have a drink shrine in May and it has something good inside. Is that true? I think so. We saw on the other video, on the last video, that there was something there. Let's see who this is. You don't know the proper etiquette when dealing with a lady, do you? You should have brought flowers or something. Maybe I might be more inclined to talk with you. Oh yes, in my case, hibiscus are best. Okay. Hi ho! Hey you! Is that possibly a honeycomb you have? I just ran out. Will you swap it for a pineapple? You exchanged a honeycomb for a pineapple. It's not sweet, but it is delicious. 
Hi ho, yes, I know that Tabu is asleep right in the way to Yarna Desert. Once he's asleep, he won't budge for a long time. But hey, take little Mary and wake him up with her singing. That slob will wake up with a jump if he heard her song for sure. Hehehe. <laughs> what kind of laugh was that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I talk to you? I can't go to Maid Village because of all the monsters. I hope Marin's alright. I hope so too. I don't even know where she is. Ooh, but there's a little thing over here. A little teleporter. That's nice. That'll be very helpful. And here's this little area that we didn't look at. Neat. Entrance to the Yarna Desert. Yeah, I don't think we can get over there at the moment. Oh. There was a heart piece over there. So we're gonna go pick that up real quick. Oh, here's a bombable wom. A, a wom? A wall. A wom. I'll be right back for that. Just pick this up real quick. Got a piece of heart. A wom. Out of my way. What's in here? A cave. Or something. Oh, it's kind of showing us what we can't do. Nice. Well, we can't do it because uh, we don't have a certain little thing. There's not much else we can do here, so we'll just leave. But we'll have to remember that area for later when we get a certain item. Um, I actually think I know where I go. Oh, I literally went the wrong way. Thankfully, with these Pegasus boots, we can literally dash through anything. We. Now, I think we go back to the prairie. And we go back to Mabe Village to the um, beach area where, you know, that one dungeon was at, the first one. I'm pretty sure um, she should be there. Hello. Yahoo! I worked so hard, and now my broom is worn out of the handle. Or to the handle. I'm sorry, I don't got a broom. I got pineapple, you want pineapple? No? No pineapple? Okay. I keep on wasting these. Hold on, I need to switch these. Because I'm just used to why.
There she is. Oh, Link, I'm glad you found this place. Will you stay and talk to me for a while? Sure. I wonder where these coconut trees come from. Karen says there's nothing beyond the sea. But I believe there must be something over there. When I discovered you, Link, my heart skipped a beat. I thought this person has come to give us a message. If I was a seagull, I could fly as far as I could. I would fly to faraway places and sing for many people. If I wish to the windfish, I wonder if my dream will come true. Hey, are you even listening, Link? Are you listening to me? Yeah, I am. I want to know everything about you. Huh? The walrus wants me to go to him? Well, alright, let's go. You got Marin. Is this your big chance? Well, now we just go back to Animal Village and just, uh, uh, take her to the walrus so that she may sing to it. And look at that. She literally just long jumped, like, there was no boundary between me and that whole long roll of holes. Like... Th that those row roll of ho holes were nothing to her but to me it was a struggle how is that fair i don't know i mean she is an npc so they probably made her do that to just you know make it go by faster instead of her just being stuck yes it's that lazy walrus shall we give him a little surprise Happy walrus. <laughs> wow, he certainly woke up with a start. Huh? Oh, he's calling me. It's the same as always. Link, I'm going to the animal village. Please drop by, okay? Um... She can give us a song that we need, but I don't know if we can get it at the moment. Hi. Can you give me your song? Hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany as I sing? So, how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? Yes, it does. You've learned the ballad of the windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. That's cute. Please don't ever forget this song. For me. Goodbye. We got what we wanted from you. I mean, uh, 
thank you for that song. I think we can actually use that song once more by, uh... Um, getting the walrus back to help us. Well, not really help us. He just gives us something. Yep. Here we go. He gave us a seashell. He found a secret seashell. No, no, stop, stop, stop. No, 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 mm -mm. I want this. Um, now we in, are in Yarna Desert, and we got some enemies that look like Pokies, because this is totally Mario. Trust me. This isn't a Legend of Zelda game, it's Mario Bros. 3. No, it's not, but I don't know why a Mario... I don't know why they added Mario char not characters, they added Mario enemies. But, like, this is a remake, so they put it in the original. I don't know. Nintendo did whatever they wanted to, I guess. I mean, it is a dream area, so none of it is real. So, I guess that could kind of explain why. Um, I think we're supposed to just hit its face. Um. That's proving to be really hard. Oh, also, you don't want to go in the middle, or you'll sink. Um, and you'll fall down. You won't get damaged, though. It'll actually fall down somewhere. But that won't be important until we beat this boss fight, because most, more than likely, the thing that we need is going to fall down into the hole. So, yeah, we're gonna fall down that hole anyway. But let's not try to fall down the hole right now. Oh. Oh my. Oh no. Oh, we did it. I don't know how we did it. We want key. Give me key. Oh. I mean, it's fine. Because as long as we. There we go. Give me key. You got the angular key. Get away from me. Go. Don't you dare. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh. No. I want your heart. Thank you. Ooh. A heart piece? Do we have enough to make a heart container? Nah, I think we need one more. But we did, um, revitalize ourselves, so that's nice. Yeah, I'm not even gonna touch those things. Well, no, let me, let me see if it has anything real quick. Like, some of them might be, like, absolutely nothing. One of them might actually have something. No. I mean, they give me hearts, so that's nice. I keep on pressing the wrong button. Welcome to Aiden presses the wrong button the game. Because I do that a lot in this game. Oh, there's this area we can actually explore before we leave. Oh, it's basically a shortcut out. I actually think there is something we can explore here. Like, there's actually something we can get, but I don't know how we get there. Um, oh, found it. Just uh, go over here. You know what, because we're just going to destroy you, because we can, and I want to. I'm pretty sure one of these rocks has a uh, secret seashell. There we go. Secret seashell. Okay, now we're gonna make our way to that. Um, to the keyhole. Which this key fits in. 
I know where it is. It's in Tall Tall Heights, or I think it's Tall Tall Heights. I wish we had a better way of transportation, but we don't have a specific song to really get places faster, but I will later. Hoot! The shape of this key shows a fish swimming up a cascade of water. Now go to the mountain waterfall. A leaf from the top and you will reach your goal. Okay. Thank you for the little hint. Hello. Goodbye. But yeah, since we already had that um, little teleportation thing open, we can just easily warp there. Because I ain't walking. You walk in, that's fine. I ain't. So yeah, there's this keyhole. So now we can put it in and unlock whatever is behind this waterfall. Who would have thunk it? It's an entrance to a dungeon. And we will explore that dungeon in the next video. So if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Goodbye!